Hey guys, it's Hef. I am back again. This is going to be my first update for the TV uh, show project that Stephanie came up with. Oh, I'm way behind. <laughs> She's done her second update. This is my first update. Um, I meant to film this last month and that didn't happen. So I'm filming it now. <laughs> Finally got around to it. Um, and it's not that I haven't been using the things. I've used some of them. Um, I just uh, forgot. Sort of. I've had other things to do. Anyway. So um, I will go through the things that I have finished. None of which I actually have on me. Uh, so I can't actually show them to you. The first one was for QI, which was the Sun Timothy sunscreen. Um, I finished that up. It was only a little sample thing. Um, that is in my empties. Um, yeah, so that one's done. Uh, the Wheat Sunday Coconut and Lime Body Wash, which was for Babylon 5, it was in my last empties. So that one is definitely done with. And for Doctor Who, I had the Meteor Shower Body Scrub thing, which if you watched my last empties, you know how I feel about that product. <laughs> so it's not in this project anymore either. So those are the three that I have used up. The ones that were in that I haven't used up. Um, the Chi Chi lip gloss. This has been in my uni bag, and so I've used it probably like twice while I've been at uni. Um, yeah, so it's not really getting much use. It just kind of like sitting there. Um, the Orchid Amber and Incense uh, Body Cream. Um, I haven't even started using this. I have another one of this size body cream in my 20 by 2020 project. And I have um, been using it occasionally. So it's had some progress, but this one has also been sitting over there and it took me like five minutes to find it to do this video. So, whoops. <laughs> um, the same goes for the vanilla bean hand cream, which I could have used up by now. Because um, I was looking for hand cream the other day and I thought, I've got one in a project. Have I already used it up? And then I couldn't find it, so I'm um, using something else. So I'll put this one by my computer so I can actually log and find it. Um, yeah, so it hasn't been used. Uh, the Snail s snail Bee High Content Steam Cream I also have not used. Because it was sitting over there with those two and I kind of forgot about them. Uh, Next we have uh, Fire from Lord & Berry. I have actually used this um, a few times. Um, I didn't mark it when I started, so it's not like I can tell you how much I've used, but I have, I know I've actually used it, like I remember using it. Um, so, yes. If you know me, you know it's not really about using our products. It's about using products. There's, there's a difference here. I mean, yes. Technically, this is a roulette where you're supposed to like roll things in, but for me, it'll be more likely like I hate something and so I roll it out and I put something else in. Uh, the Sims for uh, the Lord and Berry one was for Forged in Fire, the Snail Cream was for Stargate, um, the Hand Cream was for Doctor Who 13, uh, the Orchid Amber, and Incense was for Deep Space Nine and the Chi Chi lip gloss was for Golden Girls. This is the Schwarzkopf Volume Powder. This is for The Simpsons because you know, March. Lots of hair. Um, I have actually used this once because I was looking for my dry shampoo, which I still cannot find because my dry shampoo is like in a powder form and I still cannot find it. I don't know what I did with it. I think I lent it to somebody in the house. I haven't seen it since, and I really needed it the other day, because when I first get my hair coloured, as, you know, my hair coloured, as you can see, I have had it done, um, for like the first four or five days, I don't want to wash it, I just want to let it sort of sit, 
and it gets to about day three and it really needs to be washed and I really don't want to wash it so I want dry shampoo at that point and yeah I couldn't find my ambience dry shampoo and I'm really annoyed because I really want it um, anyway so I used a bit of this which helped a little bit it's not meant as a dry shampoo but it did help make my hair not look quite so disgustingly greasy um, the next one was for or the last one that was still in this is for goggle box and this is the naughty or nice um, perfumed body oil which like literally if I just freaking pulled it out pack it I could be done with it pretty quickly I just haven't done that so anyway so I used three things up of the ten that I had pulled so I went back and I pulled three more numbers and um, picked three more products so I picked Gilmore Girls so for Gilmore Girls I actually picked this nail polish this is called White with One um, which I figured was appropriate for someone who drinks as much coffee as Lorelei and Rory do um, yeah. so it's just a brown nail polish there's nothing remarkable about it um, I'm not planning on finishing it or anything I just want to give it some love uh, basically um, and it might be that I realise that it's got, because this is actually pretty old. Um, that is probably the main reason why any nail polish would go out of my collection, is because it's like really old and it's starting to not perform the way that I want it to. Um, like when nail polish doesn't dry properly, that's usually an indicator that you need to ditch it. Um, so, um, I might wear it on my toes or something. Uh, the next one I picked was Lex which is a very very weird sci-fi show from the uh, late 90s early 2000s i know the hubby and i used to watch it when my now 21 year old was like a year old so around about that time so and he was born in 98 so late late 90s um it is super duper weird like super duper weird the ship is alive you should try and find it and watch it if you like weird sci-fi like if you like things like Farscape and Firefly you'll probably find it quite amusing it's got some really funny shit in it it's got some really weird shit in it too but it's got some really funny stuff in it um, and the hubby and I used to love it because it was just so bizarre just like, one of the most bizarre um, programs I had watched but I really really enjoyed it so for that because it is the bazaar um, I actually picked one of my newer products which is the pretties for your face highlighter in galactic which has a green shift to it which I love sorry blinding you with the mirror not a very good YouTube um, yeah so <laughs> It's it's gorgeous. Um, look at that. I mean, that's a heavy swatch, but oh, look at that. Mm. I've worn this so much since I got it. It's not funny. <laughs> like I love it. It's freaking amazing, and it just like pops off the skin. And because I have really really pale skin, it gives you kind of like that alien esque type of glow, which I, I live for. I think it's great. Um, and the last one I picked was actually Farscape. Funnily enough. Um, so for that I decided to go with something considerably bigger than really than anything else I've put in this. Um, I'm not intending to finish it. I just want to give it some love and see whether it is worth keeping or not, which is the whole point of these projects for me. Um, and this is the Electric Palette from LA Colors. Um, had this for quite a while. It's mainly in purples and blues. Um, and it's got those like weird marbled ones which are kind of like useless quite frankly. <laughs> this is sent up as one colour when you like swell the brush in them. Um, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm going to, you know, have a little play with it. Because <clears throat> like, they're super pretty colours. Like these are the marbled, the top three marbled ones. I 
mean, they're really nice colours. So they're kind of colours I like. So I figure I'll have a little play with it and see what I think. And, you know, if the pigmentation is like the one that I used, that's in this month's that I used that is, like, really nice, then I'll keep it. And if it's not, then I'll get rid of it. But I need to play with it first so I really know. So, yeah, so that's the, the three that I have added in. Um, I probably won't update this again for, like, another three months. That's just how it is with these ones for me this year. Um, I'm trying to just find my stride with things that are going on. So, yeah. So, if... Um, I'll, I'll leave Steph and... Uh, no, 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 Andrea, who I know are doing this down below, and anybody else who's doing it, who I can't think of at the moment, um, I'll leave them down below. This is a Geeks and Beauties collaboration, in case I didn't mention that. Uh, yeah, so if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content, leave me a thumbs up if you like project type videos, and leave me a comment down below, I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!